You know, fishing nets are really overlooked in importance. And I see a lot of guys out there and they've got a $5 net. And if you think about it, a net is something you grab for each and every fish and it's really an important thing. And a couple of things that I look for is I like a really big hoop. I don't want to thread the needle at all. And I also like a really long handle, as long as I can manage, which this one is nine foot long. And you know, you're not gonna have nine foot of use when you've really figured out, you know, a three foot handle is basically about one foot of actual use. So the longest handle I can get, I want. And then also I like a good treated bag. This is a replacement bag here. And what I've actually done is, because I don't want it too deep. This has a flat bottom in it, which is something I like, but I don't need this thing super, super deep. Even here, I could put a pike in this thing. So what I've done is I've cut down the rings I've cut down and I eliminated on this particular model five of the rings so I shelled this bag up by maybe six, seven, eight inches, something like that. And that's the way I'm not going to have as much you know, as the fish rolls in there that I'm going to have to deal with so it's going to be more tangle free. And then the last little kind of tip that I do here really is I use a magnet. And there's a lot of different ways you can do these things, but basically just zip tie a magnet on each end here. And that's gonna keep that bag from not only catching rod holders in the boat, but when you put that net near the water, it's not gonna go backwards. So when you have this bag kind of drifting backwards, you know, you're gonna grab the fish and the hooks before you get them in the bag. Um, I guess one other thing that I could point out here that I do too is I have these little kind of life jackets made for my net custom and the reason I have that is I don't get any of the sharp edges as that net gets thrown around they're not going to drag onto my fiberglass and, and damage things. Um, it makes a really a big difference for keeping your boat nice. You know in this one here I just did a little bit smaller diameter. I just put a swim noodle on there and put a couple of swim noodle uh, pieces on there and then zip tied it and that's going to keep the little screws that are exposed there from dragging and getting scratched on my boat so a couple different nets here you see i got that big one this is kind of my my small fish net it's a rubber net i grab this thing kind of as a for a small fish or when i know something's going to get really tangled up uh, because it's, it's a rubber bag i got this one at fish usa it's kind of nice because it's got bigger holes on the bottom and it's a lot deeper than most rubber nets most rubber nets are too shallow for me and the fish kind of bounces out and this one's a little bit deeper and it's got a little bit longer handle so this is my last minute throw it in the boat type deal i can grab them real quick you guys have seen some videos where i've used this net and then i got my big old big fish net that you guys have seen me use for for years nine foot handle big bag big fish get them in every time so Think about having a good net. Junky net, no good.